I will, in this video, let's learn about how to remove the dependencies and dev dependencies in the package.json file. So earlier I have done a video on how to remove the dependencies, only dependencies and unused uh, import files from the project. You can check out this video. I will keep this at the end card. Fine. So this is the latest one. Like uh, this is an upgraded one. So like uh, you can like npx dip check. So with this command, what you can do is so I'm entering this command. Meanwhile, we'll talk about this command. npx means node package executable. It means we are executing the dip check dependency like uh, this library once in our project. What does this do? It will verify in our application. So whatever the dependencies or dev dependencies which are not used in our application and it will give us that list. Okay, this is randomly one of the open source project I have picked and see here, this is the list it is going to give us. So unused dependencies. So now you can verify whether these dependencies are used in your project or not. Once again, how you can verify, just you can check throughout the project level. So this command will give you the unused dependencies, dev dependencies, okay? Before removing these unused dependencies and dev dependencies, you can verify them whether those are used in any of the places or not. This at a high level, it has verified and it has given. So don't go straight forward and don't delete these dependencies. You can uninstall them, okay, from your package.json file. So for that, this is a command like npm uninstall and you can place each and every command like this. You can uh, give all these libraries here. These libraries would be uninstalled. Fine. So don't directly do this. Don't directly uninstall the libraries before understanding whether that is used or not. Just verify once, okay, at a high level, whether that is this is used or not. So if this load ash or moment here, whatever the libraries it mentioned, if it is not used in any of the libraries in the import statements or in the require statements, require also is important, not just importing and exporting. Require is also important. If it is not mentioned in the require and in the import statements at a high level, verify it. If it is not there, then you can straight away go and remove the things. So now here, these are the unused dependencies and these are the dev dependencies. Like that, once cross verify and you can go ahead and you can uninstall them. Fine. So what is this missing dependencies? This means, so this dependency is used somewhere else, but it is not mentioned in the package.json file. So that is also, that information also will be given here with the help of this dip check. Dip check is like a dependency check. Okay, it will give this. It means you are using some of the dependency somewhere, but that dependency is not mentioned in the package.json file. That is the thing, fine. Now with the help of this, you can easily remove the unused dependencies, dev dependencies, and also can find the missing dependencies as well, fine. So now, apart from this, you have one more command like npm, npx, npm check. So this is also same as, it takes some time to run, okay? But it is also same as dip check, but it gives lot of information apart from what the dip check has given us. So not only the unused dependencies, unused dev dependencies, it also gives us the information that is whether the library is outdated, whether any it is deprecated, whether it has any security issues, all that information also will be provided with the NPM check, NPX NPM check. So these are the two commands you can use to better understand what is the dependency we are using and what are the dependencies, unused dependencies. Most of the cases, what happens is like, we will install some packages, some libraries for our check. Okay, but we'll forget to uninstall those things. So what happens is like uh, all the libraries will, in a team, all the libraries will be uh, like that only, unused libraries. So these are the best ways you can find out. So see the NPM check. It has given everything in a clear, like uh, let me close these things. See, it has given us, this is not used. It has clearly says why it is not used and to remove what is the command. And also you can see, if there is any major update, see it is also saying the major update is also available. So this command will, as I said, this command is not just, it will give the unused things. It will also tell us the outdated, what is the packages are outdated 
and what are the deprecated and what are the new packages major releases were there it will also suggest a starting so with these two comments you can uh, do these things like uh, unused uh, you can remove all the dependencies why we are going to remove these dependencies the reason why we are removing these dependencies is see these are unused dependencies if you remove them it will not form uh, in the node node modules and uh, it will also not occupy it will not also not take more time to install next time so it uh, somehow or somehow or the other it will improve the performance of your application so sometimes what happens is you will not use that in your file but you will be importing that so that is also one problem so if you import it all the library would be imported okay if you find that whether it is used or not okay then you can remove that library this is this gives at a high level whether we are using the libraries or not so try to check this in your next projects and it will help you in uh, in the improving of the performances hope you understand the video thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos thank you